Have you ever taken a knife apart only to regret it immediately after? How's it going everybody? I'm Roll Shambo, the connoisseur and collector of all things sharp and shiny. And today we're talking about an offering from O-Knife. This is the Freeze 3. And it's a knife that the last time it was available, it sold out very, very quickly. Luckily for me, O-Knife reached out and said, hey, would you like to tell the good people about our sale and also maybe review the knife? And of course I said, yes, because I love the sharp and shiny. And this one is one that I definitely wanted to get my hands on last year, but I wasn't able to because they were so popular. But why are they so popular? Just what is it about the O-Knife Freeze 3 that tickles everybody's fancy? We're going to talk about it. This is the O-Knife Freeze 3. Let's go. Oh man, I'm so excited about this one. Listen, this is the O-Knife Freeze 3 limited edition. And the last time they released this knife, uh, it was also a limited edition and it had a blue handle skill. This year it is green with Damascus blade. Last year it was blue with Damascus blade. And needless to say, last year I wanted one, but could not get one because when these became available, they sold out in minutes. And that's not an exaggeration. I'm talking minutes. People went absolutely bananas over this knife. And you know what? For those of you who haven't seen what the unboxing experience is like with O Knife, we'll go ahead and do that real quick because especially on these limited edition knives, I really, really want to talk about it. Um, love the pouches that these come in. Nice stitching with the O Knife logo. Inside you have the knife in a nice plastic bag. But also for the limited models, you also get a commemorative coin. And you know, I'm not huge into coins in the EDC world, but that's pretty damn cool. I really like that says outdoor elite o knife on one side and on the other side it's got that logo and that really helps with the overall theme of this knife being not only desirable but also very limited and to have its own coin is fantastic and guess what you even have your own little pouch pocket thing for your commemorative coin so if you're a collector and you like knives that don't cost a billion dollars here you go um that's pretty cool, especially if you like sharks. I dig it. We're gonna pop that coin back in there and get this other stuff out of the way. Because this is the star of the show. This is what you're here for. And today I'm interested in finding out exactly why people went nuts over this knife. Um, so here's what we're going to do. I'll pop up the specs list. We'll talk about the specs. And then of course we will go ahead and talk about the good, the not so good, and then I'll give you my final opinion. Now, first and foremost, gotta thank O-Knife and O-Lite for sending this my way uh, to shout out the, the August flash sale. The flash sale is going on August 8th, 2023, and I believe it's going to start at 8 p.m. Eastern. So that'd be 8 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Uh, Mountain, 5 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Central. There we go. So there is the sale. And if you're looking for an item that's not currently part of their sale, don't worry. You can still save 10% off by using my discount code, which is REDC. So use code REDC for 10% off anything that's not already included in the sale. This knife is going to be included in the sale and it's going to be 20% off uh, or you know $20 off typically if these were to make it past the sale which I really highly doubt uh, you'd be looking at somewhere in the realm of $99 but during the sale you can get it for $79.99 so just shy of 80 buckaroos and we're going to talk about whether or not we believe that it's worth it again shout out to Olight for making sure that I actually had the opportunity to get one this year that is 
freaking fantastic. Now, let's go ahead and get into the specs. You're going to notice that right off the bat, this is not a small knife, okay? Uh, this is a 3.8 inch blade. It's going to be eight and three quarter inches overall with just shy of five inches on the handle scale. This is Damascus that they say is heat treated to 60 to 62 HRC, which is fantastic. And it's the first O knife design that was actually designed by a fan. So this is not designed by some crazy knife designer. No, this was designed by a fan. And how well did they do? Let's talk about the good. Now, first and foremost, let's hit that action again. <laughs> oh man, that's good. It's a liner lock, deep carry stamp steel pocket clip, huge, huge finger choil up here. And then of course, a lot of jimping. I love that. And I'm not sure if they knew this, but I love lots of jimping. The jimping is great because it helps keep you locked in for really nice detailed work. This is going to be perfect for those pinch grip situations. This could very well be the pinch grip king. The G10 handle scales are contoured and polished, and man, they feel good. The ergos on here are, well, they're, you know, they're perfect. Also, you see this full body length fuller right here. That means that you can actually kind of choose just how much detent you have. If you flick it from lower back here, you have less detent and the farther up the blade you go, the more detent there is. But either way, anytime you flip it out, you're going to hear that detent pop and it's nice and crisp. Let me see if you can hear it. That's the sound of a perfectly tuned detent. They did a phenomenal job. Let's get back to the ergos since I think that that's actually surprisingly where this shines the most. Check out this extra finger groove right there. That's for your index finger and man, that feels good. They did such a phenomenal job contouring these handle scales and polishing them out. If you wanna flip this stamped pocket clip around, you can for you lefties out there and also, like I mentioned, you can also choke up on here for some perfectly detailed cutting. Man, that's good. Push cuts, draw cuts. This is going to be a utility banger. I could also see this being useful for food prep. Um, it's got a full flat grind, very, very sticky edge. That's a, that's a bit of a slicer. And I must say, with that high polish on the Damascus, it is a fingerprint magnet, but I don't really care. I don't care at all. I think that the edge on here, as good as it is from the factory, I think that it's a really good candidate for a nice polished edge. And I think that that's what I'll be doing on this one. Now, being that this is in fact a limited run, they are serialized. Now, my serial number says serial number 2947. I know that in the last drop they did of the Freeze 3 last year, I believe it was 2,800 units that they sold. Uh, for a knife that's under 100 bucks, to have a limited quantity like this is awesome because it gives people that don't want to spend a billion dollars on knives the opportunity to get something that's a collector's piece that's also highly useful. This is going to be one of those that you could put in a display case or you could carry it with you every day and say, whatever, it's a knife, I'm going to go ahead and use it. And I would agree with that. This knife is not a small knife. It feels nice and big and confident in the hand. Let's go ahead and do a quick comparison, shall we? Here it is up against another everyday user type of knife. This is the Spyderco Manix 2, and you'll see that it, it dwarfs the Spyderco Manix 2. How about in carry profile? Well, you know, the blade profile is a little bit wider on this Manix 2, but that has a lot to do with the blade geometry. As far as thickness is concerned, it's actually going to be very spot on with the Spyderco Manix 2. Uh, the pocket clip does come up a little bit higher. As for the hardware, we're looking at a single-sided captive pivot. And let's check to see what that is. I believe that that is T8, but we're going to make sure. Yep, that is in fact T8. What about on the body screws? Nope, the body screws are in fact going to be T6s. No surprises there. Now I do wish that the body screws were at least T8. That would be nice. Um, but 
that's okay. It's it's preferable, but we don't always get everything that we want. And there's so much other good things going on with here. Now, to get into the part of the not so good, we'll start off with the T6 body screws. We really got to upgrade that. This is 2023. I think that we should be getting T8 on the body screws. And if you're wondering why that's a big deal, maybe you're new to the knife hobby. The reason why reviewers like me prefer T8 instead of T6 is because the smaller screw heads are easier to strip. And if you've ever stripped a knife screw when you're trying to take apart a knife and you leave it all half cocked in there, then yeah, you might be a little disappointed. I know that I am. Uh, the second thing is this pocket clip. Now, I want to be clear because the pocket clip does have flat screws and it is deep carry. It's not necessarily an issue, but on a limited knife like this, I would have really liked to have seen a 3D milled pocket clip. It doesn't have to be titanium. It could be aluminum or it could just be steel. Um, I would be a okay with that, but you know, the stamped pocket clip variety on a limited knife, not a huge fan. Is it a deal breaker? Absolutely not. Uh, I've, and lastly, I do wish that we had a bit of a backspacer. You see how much blade we have here? 3.8 inch blade. That is a lot of cutting edge. And a backspacer, even a G10 backspacer to match these handle scales would have been phenomenal because it would protect the edge of the blade from crap in your pockets. That is 100% the reason why I like backspacers. Also, they keep your palm from falling in between those handle scales. That's my only nitpick with this knife. And I want to be absolutely clear. Those are, in fact, nitpicks. I can 100% see why this knife was so popular last year because it's honestly quite good. That detent, phenomenal. The ergonomics, really freaking good. And I haven't even started talking about the flipper tab action, which, you know what? You <laughs> This is a lot of blade. Uh, it is running on bearings, and so you are going to feel that guillotine shut. This is just, well, it's just awesome. I'm a big fan of this knife, and I was excited to be included this year and also be able to add this one to the mix. And if you've been watching my videos, you might know that I've actually been searching for the best knife under 100 bucks in 2023 because there have been so many good ones. I've given away plenty of O-Knife this year. Uh, this is not going to be one of them, at least for right now. This one is great. I'm keeping this one. This one's staying in the collection because I'll tell you right now, it's in the running for one of the best knives of 2023. And if you want to see another great knife under a hundred bucks here in 2023, that's also in contention, make sure you click on the video that pops up next.